<laughs> no, no, when you say, okay, uh, top-down approach and Islam needs to be bottom-up, uh, I mean, don't you think that, you know, for example, I'm just kind of going back to uh, the tri- time of the, uh, the um, Abu Bakr Sadiq, uh, uh, when uh, the, the Rida Wars happened, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you had, uh, as, as the Prophet passed away, so even during his time, even more so after he passed away, you know, people were just leaving Islam. Everybody, there's, there's a lot of kabyles which were becoming worth it at that point in time. Mm-hmm. The Islam being zakat, you know, but it was the top-down approach at that point in time, you know, of Abu Bakr Siddiq, you know, which kind of held the, uh, uh, this abstract state, you know, intact at that point in time. Because he said, you know, even if they don't give me a, a rope of a camel as, as a zakat, I'm going to actually go to war uh, against them. And subdue them, right? Uh, make them submit. Uh, even I'm the only one standing. Mm-hmm. Right? So, but, but for Islam to come back, I mean, that was a situation when Islam was actually, you know, uh, kind of very in its in its uh, infancy stages. Uh, but I think it's kind of both which is needed. No, bottom up and top down, especially bottom up more. So I would agree with you in the Western context, but in the Muslim lands, I think it needs to be top down for the Islam to be implemented, and then the the masses will have some sort of a, a structure which would align them with the with the orthodox islam if, if i can jump in sorry yeah. sorry brother yeah. um and that's a great uh question a great uh what you mentioned there and that's connected to the very uh hadith that uh, brother daniel had mentioned is our love of dunya and hatred mm-hmm. of death because uh and i'm in, in 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 the context of the muslim world if the leaders who control all these militaries and all that, if they had an epiphany, and as you said, it's a, it's a, it's actually spiritual slash rational problem. Because if they rationally realize that, hey, I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave this world one day, and I'm gonna be accountable, right, one day to the Creator, which one would rationally realize there is, and then realize that the Quran is the truth, etc. It's if if these leaders realize that. You know, it's actually it, it's it, sh- it should be love of the Akra and and then and and just and just realizing that this is just a temporary world, they would do what they can to um, to counter injustice and save the oppressed. But they're not at that point. They're as you said, there's a spiritual slash rational problem they have. They've chosen the world over the afterlife. If they didn't, if they realize that, if they don't, if if they stop practicing that. Then they would go, be going in and uh, liberating uh, all the oppressed. Uh, so, anyways, go ahead if you uh, for the comment on that. Uh, yeah. So, the, when I say bottom up, organic, that's not um, foreclosing on the necessity of a leader, you know, and leadership and an imam. Um, but we're in a situation now where there isn't an imam mm-hmm. and there isn't that that leadership. So how does that leadership come about? Mm -hmm. And that is something to study and that is something to reflect on. Mm -hmm. Um, After the Prophet ﷺ passed away, you had Sahaba. (laughs) And they have the the highest spiritual state. And Mm -hmm. so they can unite under Mm -hmm. the Khulafa Rashidun uh, for the most part and come and work together to implement you know, the Sharia on the, the macro level. Yeah. But we're not Sahaba, uh, sadly. And we can aspire to that. And inshallah, with the right intentions, we can be rewarded like them. And as indicated by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But it's, it's, I agree with you. Like there has to be leadership, but the leadership arises in, not in the way that, like look at the, when I, um, denigrate top-down leadership. I am thinking about like Western governments, mm-hmm. where you vote for someone that's been being placed uh, in front of you and saying, "This is a good guy. You should vote for him." And they're the worst of people. Yeah, <laughs> they're the worst people yeah. in your society, and you have to take them as your leader. That's top-down. It's being imposed. Yeah. Uh, whereas when something that's organic, like people want to be led by the best, mm-hmm. right? Uh, the best of you. And that's something that the person uh, who comes out of that doesn't actually want leadership, mm-hmm. right? And this is part of the tradition as well, that the, the person who is aspiring to be the leader yeah. uh, is not actually qualified or shouldn't be the leader. 
so there's there's that's also like a spiritual dimension, and there's not a distinction I think uh, between rational rationalism and spiritualism. That this is like also modern Western distinction yeah. because the heart and mind are one Islamically the qalb, right? Uh, the it, it's the qulub the, that uh, recognizes the truth, yeah. and yeah. the aql, the seat of aql is the qalb, yeah. um, which you know that's a longer discussion. Yeah, but I just want to make that yeah, yeah no that, that's fine and actually uh, like because uh, I also conduct uh, like I conduct a, like a Y Islam series for youth as well and actually con- I actually pose this question to my class as as to. Um, you know how how do we know there how do you know how do we know there is an afterlife right mm-hmm. and uh they couldn't really put uh they couldn't really answer that question but it's a very it's it's very rational because there was a point where you didn't exist mm-hmm. and pop you exist so it's all the more easy for the creator to bring you into existence again right <laughs> <laughs> like so and i and i and again if the people who are on the top i think they don't have a rational understanding of islam or the truth itself as well or the choose not to and they choose their desires and and again it comes down to back to that hadith mm-hmm. and um and it's pretty simple to understand and that's the situation we're in right so there has to be a, a massive i guess push or education of why islam mm-hmm. for for the masses and for the people on the top if they do care for the truth at all right i agree yeah, yeah. <laughs>